Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Project Black T-Shirt. Uh, I'm Adam Caesar, and today, instead of uh, giving you a movie review, which is what I've been doing for the last couple weeks, uh, I wanted to talk to you about a book. What I've been doing the last few weeks is uh, reviewing movies and then giving you book pairings. What I'm going to do this week is I'm going to review a book, and then I'm going to give you a couple movie pairings to go along with it. Uh, because I think this is a very special book, and that book is Mongrels by Stephen Graham Jones. This just came out last week. Um, from William Morrow. People who uh, are, are big horror readers might have heard of Stephen Graham Jones. He's written a ton of books, a ton of short stories. He's been anthologized in like Year's Best Horror like a thousand times. Um, really, really great writer. Um, one of my favorites. Um, and this is his first, or maybe not his, uh, maybe not his first, but one of his biggest um, releases uh, out in hardcover this week. Uh, it is a werewolf book. Uh, it's a werewolf book uh, that focuses on a uh, unnamed protagonist um, who is living with his uh, aunt and uncle. Uh, all three of them are werewolves, uh, so they, that lends to kind of this nomad lifestyle. They start out the book in Arkansas, they ping pong around, they're moving from Florida to Texas, all around the American South. A very southern flavored book, um, very much a, a, a book that's... Um, about werewolves, but is, is, is clearly about something else and talking about poverty and race and things like that with werewolves being a stand-in for all this different stuff. Um, but it does not skimp on the werewolf action. Um, it does not skimp on the transformation scenes. It does not skimp on uh, the hunting scenes. Uh, it does not skimp on like the mythology of these particular werewolves and uh, how it connects to kind of movie mythology and film mythology uh, and, and, and book mythology that we've kind of dealt with in the past and it's Stephen Graham Jones like cherry picking all these different facets of uh, lycanthropes and throwing all these little little different details from each kind of uh, piece of werewolf media he's liked and, and putting them all together in this one um, cohesive uh, but still episodic um, novel. Start out the book, um, there's this grandpa character who's telling our protagonist about what it's like to be a werewolf, all these different rules. Um, and even <laughs> even in the very start of the book, I wasn't even sure if there was going to be any werewolves in the book. I was going to be like, is this going to be one of those kind of literary things where, there's, where it's a cheat, where uh, it's up to your interpretation whether or not this protagonist is telling the truth, whether there are werewolves or not. Um, and around a third way through the book, you realize, no, there's definitely, definitely going to be some werewolves in this book. Um, it's fantastic. I, I don't really want to talk more about it. I don't want to spoil it. Um, one, one thing I will note is um, a lot of reviewers have been, like, kind of picking up that it's episodic, and I, I, one or two of them on Amazon even called it, like, um, like, like choppy. Uh, I don't get that at all. I, I, I don't... I see what Jones is doing. He's splitting these uh, these chapters up into, so they can basically be their own standalone short stories. Um, but that's this character's life. We're checking in with him between like 11 and 16, I think, is the, the range of his uh, years in the book. Um, and we're just seeing little snapshots of him uh, and how he's dealing with being a werewolf, whether he's going to transform at some point, um, whether he really is a werewolf like his aunt and uncle are, um, and we see him deal with that at different points in his life. He's living in different states. He's dealing with different problems. Um, and then the book ends with this kind of little novelette, uh, this really long chapter that has its own chapters within it. Um, and it's, it's just fantastic. It's so good. It's really funny, um, scary at parts, um, gross at parts. Does a lot of stuff with werewolf mythology that even though... Jones himself claims that like none of it's new. You can like it's never been mixed like this before. It's never been presented um, in this way. It's it's really really great. And if um, you're interested at all in the book, or if this has uh, stirred your interest, you should uh, head over. I'll put a link in the uh, in the description. I interviewed Jones uh, for Cemetery Dance Online, and he talked to me about where all this stuff comes from, along with a bunch of other stuff that's really interesting. Um, so Mongols, I cannot recommend it enough. Fantastic book. If you're if you're not a reader or if you're a reader and you want to supplement this reading, 
uh, with some more werewolf stuff, I've got two movies for you. My two movie recommendations for this special werewolf episode are um, When Animals Dream, which is a Danish um, coming-of-age werewolf movie that deals with werewolf genealogies and kind of this will-she-won't-she she with a female werewolf. Um, it's really, really good. It's a little bit more metered in pace, a little bit more art house. Um, there are subtitles for those of you who are really against reading. And I don't know how you've made it this far into this episode if you're really against reading. Um, but it's, it's a great movie and one that I had, uh, I had heard a good amount about when it came out on VOD. I didn't rent it um, and I just, just recently watched it on Netflix. Um, so it is, if you have a Netflix subscription, you can just type in When, when Animals Dream and go watch that. It's, it's really great. If that's not your speed, um, Late Phases, uh, which is a, a, a great werewolf revenge story about a blind uh, Vietnam veteran who moves into a, um, a assisted living kind of community and realizes that there's a werewolf on the rampage uh, or multiple werewolves. It's got Tom Loon in it. It's fantastic. It's really, really great. Um, it has an amazing transformation scene. A lot of practical effects, werewolves that are clearly men in suits that sometimes kind of look like werewolf bunnies, but are ver still very cool, bipedal, up on two legs, werewolves. Um, great effects, um, great action, uh, just just really, really cool. Um, it's Nick Demici, uh, or I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, Nick Demici, um, starring in it. Um, and then it's the director of... Here Comes the Devil, which is a cool Spanish language horror movie from uh, a couple years ago. Uh, both are must-sees, I'd say, but you decide from the descriptions which you want to check out. There's the more art house one, which is when animals dream, and these, there's the more straightforward shooting things with silver bullets, late phases, which is really great. Okay, quick episode. Just wanted to tell you that you should read Mongrels by Stephen Graham Jones. You should re really read all this guy's books. Um, if you're anything like me, if you're a horror fan, um, but to start with mongrels, work your way backwards. If you like this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe, comment, tell me what I should be reviewing next because I really don't know what I'm doing for next week. All right. Thanks, guys.